Hello everyone. Good morning. This is Mr. Takshna Murthy, Assistant Professor, Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning Department. I am handling uh, uh, subject uh, 22 CS 302, Computer Organization and Architecture, Unit 2, Arithmetic Operations, Topic Booth Multiplication. Booth multiplication. The booth algorithm is a multiplication algorithm that allows us to multiply two signed binary integers in two's complement representation. It is also used to speed up the performance of the multiplication process. It is very efficient algorithm. It operates on the fact that the strings of zeros in the multiplier requires no additional bit only shift the rightmost string bits in the case of string of ones in the multiplier from bit weight 2 power k to weight 2 power m that can be considered as 2k plus 1 2 raised to the power of k plus 1 minus 2 power m for example, plus 14 binary represented value by using binary weightages 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Here, binary weights 2 power 1 to 2 power 3 places we are getting 1, then k is equal to 3, m is equal to 1. Then 2 power 4 minus 2 power 1, that means 2 power k plus 1 minus 2 power m, right? Then we are getting 16 minus 2, the value is 14. Like uh, m into 14 is represented m into 2 power 4 minus m into 2 power 1. This same as all multiplication schemes, both algorithm requires examination of the multiplier bits and the shifting of partial product. Uh, second rule is period to the shifting, the multiplicand may be added to the pa partial product, subtract and from the partial product are left unchanged according to the following rules. The multiplicand is subtracted from the partial product upon encountering the first least significant one in a string of ones in the multiplier. The multiplicand is added to the partial product upon encountering the first zero provided that there was a previous one in a string of zeros in the multiplier. The product, partial product does not change when the multiplier bit is identical to the previous multiplier bit. By the by this slide, we can be able to understand the operation of the booth multi algorithm. Here, the sign bits are not separated from the rest of the registers. The registers we are using is A, B and Q are renamed to accumulator BR and QR respectively. Extra flip plus Q N plus 1 is appended to the QR, it is needed to store almost last right shifted bit to the multiplier. The pair QN and QN plus 1 inspect double bits of the multiplier. Here we are using BR register, complementer and parallel adder, then AC register and QR registers, sequence counter for the booth multiplication we are using these are all the 
different hardware modules both algorithm here the flow chart they given uh, which is which helps us to understand this concept very easily the multiplication of two's complement data both multiplication algorithm the this algorithm can be used for both the positive and negative multiplier in two's complement form the partial product does not change when the multiplier bit is identical to the previous multiplier bit qn and qn plus 1 equal to 0 0 or 1 1 the multiplicand is added to the partial product if lsp is 0 in the string of zeros in the multiplier qn and qn plus 1 equal to 0 1 the multiplicand is subtracted from the partial product if the LSP is 1 in the string of 1s in the multiplier QN, QN plus 1 equal to 1, 0. After uh, each addition or subtraction, the partial product is shifted right using the arithmetic shift. In this flowchart, once the number is entered multiplier and multiplicand br and qr ac equal to 0 and qn plus 1 is 0 sequence counter is in sliced to n after in slicing the values of quotient and accumulator and sequence counter then we are taking the qn and qn plus 1 values if it is both are equal 1 1 and 0 0 we are not doing any changes but when we are having the qn and qn plus 1 values 1 0 then we are performing ac gives ac plus br dash plus 1 else if it is uh, our qn and qn plus 1 is 0 1 then we are adding ac gives ac plus br after that, uh, the resultant of this is shifted uh, right and uh, sequence counter is decremented by 1. If the sequence counter is uh, not equal to 0, then uh, we are repeating this process till the sequence counter is getting 0. Once it is completed, we are ending the process and we are getting the multipli multiplication results. From this example, compute minus 5 into minus 7 using the Booth algorithm. Here there are uh, 5 different uh, uh, columns we are creating for and uh, doing this uh, Booth multiplication. One is operation uh, description, another one is accumulator value, another one is QR and QN plus 1 and sequence counter. Sequence counter, uh, here number of bits were we are using is 4 bit values that is why we are initializing sequence counter to 4 then we are starting our process here we are checking qn and qn plus 1 is 1 0 uh, when we are having this value we have to add accumulator plus br plus da br dash plus 1 then we are getting value 0 1 0 1 and 1 0 0 1 and zeros see after performing this operation we are doing the right shift uh, so that we are getting changes now sequence counter is getting decremented now we are checking whether it is zero or not here three then we are continuing the repeating the process for the next cycle here qn and qn plus one is uh, zero one then we are uh, performing right side operation that means ac plus br here, after performing AC plus BR, we are getting 1101110001 and we are performing right shape and we are getting the result uh, QN and QN plus 1 is 0, 0 because of that we are not doing any uh, operation, simply we are moving to the next uh, cycle. That is why sequence counter alone getting decrement.